We are gathered this morning to witness a change of command and a final stage in a very full and productive 27 year military career. Today we also remember that behind every sailor stands a strong circle of support and fidelity and are thus grateful for Captain Christie's family. NAS Lemoore is a very special place, more like a huge family instead of a small city. That phenomenon is one of the biggest reasons I continue to ask for assignments here and it is one of the enduring positive memories I will take with me into retirement. You may recall that I identified that our resources would be challenged due to the timing of our turnaround, and that is proven to be true. I also said that our spirit, our commitment, and our professionalism would propel us to rise to those challenges. And in my estimation, we did. It is all too easy to singularly focus on the measurable accomplishments of a deployment at sea and seemingly forget that the carrier air wing doesn't magically constitute itself as a combat ready force the day before deployment. You all have done an amazing job of maximizing training opportunities and you have proven yourself exceptional stewards of the assets for which you are responsible. I have thoroughly enjoyed our time together. Thank you and well done. Cruiser, words can express my gratitude for what you've taught me, how you've led this air wing, the only words I could come up with were a very heartfelt thank you. Cruiser, thank you. Thank you for so elegantly guiding CAG-9 through this tough phase. Your efforts are why CAG-9 is set up for success at the beginning of basic phase, the likes of which have not been seen on this flight line in the last five to 10 years. This story takes place in Corpus Christi, Texas. It's October, 1995. I've just finished primary flight training in the T-34C and I'm out for a celebratory dinner with my fiance, Jennifer. We are literally less than two weeks away from our wedding. We, we ordered our meals and the discussion expectedly zeroed in on the topic of choosing my inputs for my follow-on training. My three options were to pursue training in helicopters, land-based maritime aircraft that we know as P3s at the time, or the carrier-based jet aircraft route. I was not about to discount these points without discussion, so I pitched the options to Jennifer with the associated pros and cons. If I select jets, I get to chase my lifelong dream of being a carrier-based fighter pilot. The reward is certainly high, but the risk seems very high as well because I had wrestled with some pretty serious air sickness on quite a few training flights. Add that to the consideration that my primary flight instructors were mostly from the P3 community, and they continued to give me the strong sales pitch uh, that included selling points like, hey, if you go P3s, you get these great locations of their bases and lots of extra money through per diem and your deployments never get close to a ship. I had barely 75 hours of flight time and realized this flying stuff was reckoning to be a little bit more difficult than I initially thought. And given the chance to live in Hawaii or Florida, albeit flying somewhat of an albatross of an aircraft, I thought I knew exactly where this discussion was going with my soon-to-be bride. And I couldn't have been more wrong. <laughs> As the waiter returned to serve our entrees, Jennifer stood up a bit in her seat, pointed her finger at me. Her eyes sharpened in a way that I'd never seen before, and she spoke these words in a loud whisper. If you don't select jets, you will regret this for the rest of your life. Even if you end up washing out, at least you went down chasing your dreams. That is something you can live with. Truer words could not have been said. Perfectly timed when I needed to hear them. It was a glorious glimpse of insight into the tigress of a woman I married and galvanized my convictions that I had chosen the right mate for life. <clears throat> and even though my eyes had been locked on Jennifer throughout, with impeccable timing, the waiter spoke up and said, dinner is served, enjoy your meal, and in my humble opinion, you really ought to think about selecting jets. He then promptly walked away and we continued to eat. <clears throat> Naval aviation is extremely special. My love for this lifestyle and this business is second only to my family. It isn't perfect. Nothing is perfect. But the good news is we have remarkable control over shaping our domain to reflect what we want it to be. Don't be a passenger. Don't sit and judge for the sake of judgment. Tilt at those windmills and make naval aviation better. Thank you for, for your 27 years of service. You have so unselfishly given the United States Navy. In a few minutes, you will leave the stage, and new acquaintances will call you Jim, James, perhaps Mr. Christie. 
but you will always be our CAG, someone's skipper, or maybe just plain old cruiser. The Navy is truly losing one of their giants today. Thank you again for your mentorship, your resolve, your thoughtful leadership, your friendship, and most importantly, your wine. <laughs> Flando, CMC, it is time to relieve CAG Christie from his watch. For 27 years, this sailor stood the watch. While some of us lay in our bunks at night, this sailor stood the watch. While some of us were in school learning our trade, this shipmate stood the watch. Yes, even before some of us were born into this world, this shipmate stood the watch. And those years when the storm clouds of war were seen brewing on the horizon of history, this shipmate stood the watch. Many times he would cast an eye ashore and see his family standing there, needing his guidance and help, needing that hand to hold during those hard times, but he still stood the watch. He stood the watch for 27 years. He stood the watch so that we, our families, and our fellow countrymen could sleep soundly in safety each and every night knowing a sailor stood the watch. Today, we are here to say, shipmate, the watch stands relieved. Relieved by those you have trained, guided, and led. Shipmate, you stand relieved. We have the watch. Boatswain, stand by to pipe the side. Shipmate going ashore. Captain, United States Navy, retired the party. I've rolled some strikes, and I've certainly had my fair share of gutter balls, but most importantly, I have zero regrets. And honestly, I think that is the most important takeaway from this whole experience. I wouldn't change a thing. And I thank each and every one of you for your remarkable and special contribution to permit me to have this incredible experience.